So let's talk about Fisher projection with rings. Now, this is something that gets kind of wonky, but typically what we did when we drew Fisher projections is I gave you a nice chain that terminated. Let's say you have a ring. Well, what we can do is we can draw the ring. It's just a big circle. We know that the carbons are connected on and in. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a fairly benign end group. So in this case, CH2, CH2. right next to each other. Now, we want our first carbon to be the one that would take priority in terms of naming. We want the second, we want to basically follow the ring we would as we would as we name. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So five, carbon five, carbon six are here. Now, we've got four other carbons along the chain. The first one's gonna contain the alcohol. Now, the nice thing about a Fisher projection when it comes to working with rings, is it's already kind of set up to be a Fisher projection. So, if I build my nice little molecule, and let's see here, I got the OH going back to the board, and I've got my methyl group coming forward. Basically, all I have to do is force my six member ring into a plane and just read off what I see as I roll along. So, the OH here is on the right. CH3 group here is on the left. And then I don't really care because the rest are hydrogens. And as I roll it out, this is what I get. So this is your Fisher projections for rings. Now again, buy yourself a nice modeling kit. A lot of the stuff kind of gets hard to see in six space. What you're gonna wanna do is specify your first carbon as you would for the naming. Follow along as you would for the naming. The second last carbon is gonna become the bottom one. The last carbon is going to become the top. Hopefully there's nothing functionalized on it. If there, if there is, it's going to get a bit more complicated. But again, take your ring then, force your model to make it into a plane, and then just read along the plane to figure out which way things go. And that will give you the Fisher projection for whatever you've got inside your ring.